All right, y'all, we're picking up right where we left off in the last video. I'm in dynamic mode, but we're gonna we're gonna go to comfort. I got a few stores I gotta stop at before I hit the gym and then head home. And we can romp on a little bit once we leave base, but you can't really go over 25, 30 on base. I'm not trying to get pulled over and have to go talk to my first shirt. So we're in comfort mode. There's a little more sound. I mean, that's three mile an hour, but I wish I could see traffic here better. No terrible sounds, which means the drive shaft isn't hitting anything. Try to negate wind noise, but we're going 30 mile an hour. And it literally doesn't sound any different, except for when you like started to pull. Wow, it's really quiet. <laughs> wow, we're gonna have to test that uh, well, highway speed. This is, yeah, my first stop is literally like two feet away from Auto Hobby. But... Wow, yeah, you can't really hear anything. That's actually amazing. I mean, there is a little bit more, but nothing like, okay, let's put it in dynamic while we go to the parking lot here. Oh yeah, because the commissary and the BX are in the same parking lot. I don't go shopping here often, so. I'm gonna put it in dynamic, but we're going two mile an hour. It's not really gonna do much. I'll hop back in after I hit these stores and we'll, uh, we'll go to the gym. All right, so we're driving. This is my normal mode. The, 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 my daily mode is auto um, for the golfs. I'm not sure if they have an auto mode. I'm pretty sure they don't. So I'm at 60 mile an hour. I'll even downshift to get the RPMs up. We're about 3,000 RPM. Not bad. Like it's not. too much oil's almost ready give these cars some room here mind you we're not in sport either this is just wow okay that's not bad and this is still i believe this is the valves closed so set right now I got a car in front of me so we're going 55 3,000 rpm at oh we didn't go on cruise time to that. I mean I'm not seeing any drone this is holding the revs at like 3,600 right now oh we took it out of auto let's put it in sport so we'll do that 3,500 rpm can't even really tell it's there put it in sport it turns uh puts the, the valves open Woo! y'all heard that wow so we're gonna get on the highway up here and now we'll put it into uh put it into dynamic this will be the loudest it's gonna get and i'll leave it should i do it in auto no we'll leave it in automatic so we're not shifting in, it's shifting itself. It shifts like just above 3,000, so. Damn traffic. Let's get over. We got no traffic. Quality is good. Quality is very good. 
I don't think I'm gonna get a cat back. I really don't. I think like this is perfect for me. <laughs> Those pops though. Those the, I'm not a pop kind of guy, but wow. Let's do that. It's gonna be a little loud, but let's see. Put the windows down. This is a, uh, this is good for just a downpipe. Like, I don't know. I think I had. Now I had a downpipe on my stock cat back, on my Mark Seven, but it was catted three inch. This is you know catless four inch. So I don't remember having this much sound out of it. Out of it. Definitely, I don't think I did at all. Cause that I think that one still had a resonator as well. This doesn't have a resonator. I wish traffic wasn't such a butthole right now. Oh, a little chilly out too. And right here in the 3500 range is like where it's the hummiest. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a drone. Oh, dang, it's got some pops to it. We're going to have to get the old lady to take some laps in the car around the neighborhood. This is good. This is golden. get some iPhone clips for for the gram I don't even know where I'm driving to right now I should probably pay attention I don't know where I'm at <laughs> not bad guys I keep saying not bad as if it's not good it's good I really like it <laughs> just have a I have a bad habit of saying not bad <laughs> the speed limit everyone's like everyone flies around here and a little bit of throttle on the 3000 range really gets the pops going all right we're gonna do second gear ready this is that 4000 rpm second gear So let's do some pulls in um, comfort, which would be, I don't even know for the golf guys, but uh, it should definitely be with the valves closed. So comfort, comfort and sport. We'll just leave it in comfort. I should have put that back there while I have more space. I could maybe bust a U here and go back. Let's see here. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This guy's turning. Comfort mode, automatically shifting. It's quiet. 4,000 in comfort. Let me get up this bump. Really doesn't sound that much different than uh, before a cat. So, I mean, that's this is phenomenal. This is the first time I've like really gotten to enjoy valves. Because on my Remus, one of the valves got all messed up. So I had to weld it in place open and then just coat them permanently open. And then, you know, I got cooled over and stuff. So I didn't really care for the modes anyway. But it's actually kind of cool to have that now with... Wow. All right, so let's do sport and comfort. This is sport. Like the way it like lugs the engine, so we're gonna go up to 4,000. This is sport auto shift. That's crazy. How you know how much sound difference? Now, I'm not sure how much sound deadening the car has, so I don't know what the relation is 
from what I hear to what's actually coming out the back. That's why I want the old lady to drive, but the car seat really doesn't fit in the car right now, so I can't, like, we can't go out somewhere and need to take the baby out of the car and do all that. It's a little, a little more difficult when you got a child, but going back into auto mode, which I think is basically the same setting as comfort as far as I can tell. That's what I daily in. But you can hear it like the little, like below 2000, you get like a little bit more sound, but like. I still hear the intake over the exhaust, really. And that's what I daily in, so that's awesome. So I don't have to like be super obnoxious everywhere I go. I'm real big on having like a clean sounding exhaust. I don't want to be running around and sound like a straight piped VQ or like, you know, some type of K series or B series or whatever series all the Honda guys have. So, you know, I don't, I, most of them don't sound very good to me. And it's usually because people just straight pipe them. Sorry, I can't show the result to you while you're in the car. Well, ain't nobody asking for that. Well, I mean, fly off the road. All right, well, I still get pops in auto, so that's cool. I wonder if auto automatically opens the valves. It'd be nice if it did, because it's like giving me some pops right now. Valves are closed. fully open the last clip was auto so they open whenever they want to but all right here's comfort mode flooring it nowhere near as loud but man this thing gets up and goes quicker as you guys can see uh there's no check engine light i just need some uh windshield wiper fluid Valves open. A little turbo sound. Pops actually sound decent from the outside. I'm more surprised at that. Hopefully she gets on a little bit. My phone's about to be filled with so much video. She looks gorgeous. Look at that baby. Come on. Nice. It's a 
little tractory on the coming down, slowing down, but it's not like unbearable. It's actually really good. I am so surprised. Now she should put it into comfort mode. Man, this car just looks good. I don't ever see my car like, what up? Needs wash. My wheels are usually like so much brighter. It's been raining and just grimy here lately. Valves closed. You can still hear some turbo spool. That's nice. I'm happy with that. I think that's what's going to be because now there's kids walking. So nice. Very nice. DVV2, Daniel. Oh, I love it. I'm not even going to get a cat back. Not even going to do it. Okay, we'll go. Look how good this baby. 